Israel and Hamas try to make a deal for the hostages and a temporary ceasefire. Is this the right move? We'll go over that here. Also, the House of Representatives races to make a, a vote on a continuing resolution to prevent a government shutdown. I'll give you the details here on that as well. We got a lot to cover in this video. Let's jump right in. Also, if you appreciate these updates, don't forget to smash the like button for us. Here we go. Okay, so Israel and Hamas near a deal to release 70 women and children that have still been held hostage for a potential five-day truce and the release of a possible prisoner swap of some prisoners being held uh, in prison in Israel. That, But Israel wants to make sure that none of them are Hamas prisoners, so linked to Hamas. So... You know, so that you know, they got to do some due diligence there. However, these are not even all the women and children, there's um, over a hundred, and Hamas is not even willing to give up all the women and children. This is how sad this is. President Biden says that a deal is going to happen. We will see. As officials say, they are nearing an agreement. Here is what President Biden said about the hostage deal. Take a listen. Mr. President, 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 Mr. Republican Speaker Mike Johnson says a cease, the ceasefire demands are outrageous. He said at a pro-Israel demonstration in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday that the ceasefire is an unfeasible demand and would lead to the elimination of the state of Israel. Saying, quote, calls for a ceasefire are outrageous, he said in an address to thousands of demonstrators in front of the U.S. Capitol. His statements were fire, followed by an echo of chants in the crowd of no ceasefire. They're also uh, pushing forward with a continuing resolution here, uh, which I'll get to here in a second, which has uh, some surprising things in it. Meanwhile, the Pentagon says that it, intelligence indicates that Hamas militants have operating, are operating out of Gaza hospitals and the IDF, Israel Defense Forces, have released multiple sets of videos that have or indicates that they have started to find multiple instances of places where they have found places where Hamas was there in hospitals. Take a look at some of these footages. The Israeli military trading gunfire with Hamas terrorists in northern Gaza. The defense minister says Hamas has lost control of the Gaza Strip. Israeli forces now say they have the proof that Hamas is using hospitals, even a children's hospital, to hide a vast network of underground tunnels housing a terror command center. They're trying to protect their leadership. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says this war will decide the fate of how more than of how far more than just for Israel. So we have to win to protect Israel. We have to win to safeguard the Middle East. We have to win for the sake of the civilized world. That's the battle we're fighting and it's being waged right now. There is no substitute for that victory. If we don't win now, then Europe is next and you're next and we have to win. Israel has released new video from an underground look at a pediatric hospital specializing in cancer treatment. So the terrorists have gone underground beneath this very large hospital to protect themselves. It apparently shows how the terrorists used it as a base to store grenades, assault rifles, rockets. There were also some signs that maybe some of the hostages had been held there. I want you to see this room. It's in the basement of the hospital. 
We can see this area is a closed area from the rest of the hospital. We can see the ventilation air that was done improvisedly to this area. And we can see infrastructures that was built in here, toilets, shower, a small kitchen, will provide the terrorists their needs. Also conduct a hideout, a hideout where terrorists take hostages and hideouts. Um, let's go right now to Alex Hogan, who is on the ground in northern Israel. Alex. Hi, Harris. We have heard sirens really across the country today, and at least one person was wounded just in the last several hours in Tel Aviv, which is in central Israel. But here in the north, we've continued to see airstrikes coming from Lebanon and Hezbollah. This was the scene earlier today. We could see some of the smoke rising on the hillside. That is the border of Israel and Lebanon. Hezbollah launched anti-tank missiles here on northern Israel. Israeli fighter jets quickly responded. And it was last night when the IDF released this footage from a hospital basement where it appears some hostages were being held. The IDF also released footage of what it says is a cache of weapons that it found there. Hamas says that it could release 70 hostages through a negotiation for a five-day ceasefire. The IDF continuing to press forward, saying that in the last day, it took over the parliamentary building in Gaza City, raising the Israeli flag there. Also, the House of Representatives to vote on a Republican funding bill to avert a government shutdown. Democrats say they're going to go along with it because it largely does not have cuts and is a continuing resolution here. It provides no funding for Israel, no support for Israel, which is shocking to a lot of people. And no support for Ukraine either. You can let me know your thoughts on this here in the comments. This will fund the government till sometime in January. And, and then as another step that will fund the government until February, if criteria meets, this has to pass the House, then pass the Senate, and have the President sign it. If everything goes as planned. Yeah, the bill would extend funding until January 19th for priorities, including military constructions, veteran affairs, transportation, housing, and energy. The rest of the government, anything not covered by the first step, would be funded until February 2nd. No aid for Israel or Ukraine. I will keep you up to date here with everything. If you haven't yet, thank you so much for liking and sharing these videos. Make sure to subscribe down below. It's completely free to do so. New videos come out here every day at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Click here to see the major unexpected thing that just happened here for Americans. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.